Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Kneeling NFL team offers Blue Lives Matter big partnership. Get legendary rejection instead. I followed Blue Lives Matter for quite some time now. The pro police officer group is a great source of information and very true to the cause of supporting police officers and all they do. In fact, their site is one of my daily haunts for news these days. I would imagine having them support a sports team or a group is a big deal and carries a lot of weight with their respective fans. These are individuals who stand between crime, the bad guys and the rest of us and put their lives on the line every day without hesitation. I have the highest respect for police officers and for the group Blue Lives Matter. They were just recently asked to join with the New York Jets in a partnership within the National Football League. They decided on Saturday to turn down that offer and their founder was quick to defend the pro-police officer group. Joe Imperatrice was the one who declined the team's offer this week. He said that the National Football League does not respect police officers. This incident played out as preseason protests continue to occur as players kneel in defiance of the league's mandate that they stand for the national anthem. The controversy is still raging and many fans are saying they will just walk away from the National Football League this year if it is not stopped. For ESPN's part, they have decided not to air the National Anthem before games that they broadcast. Imperatrice appeared Saturday on Cavuto Live on Fox News. He stated that he takes issue with associating his organization with the Jets. He related to Neil Cavuto just how touching it had been to see the son of fallen NYPD debt. Joseph Lem saluting his father's casket that had an American flag draped over it. That's why we stand, he said. We're gonna stand because Joe can't anymore. When I hear that, I get choked up as well. Imperatrice has an issue with a specific player on the New York Jets team. Running back Isaiah Crowell. Crowell posted an image to Instagram in 2016 that depicted a police officer's throat being slashed. The caption read, Mood, they give polices all types of weapons and they continuously choose to kill us. Hashtag weak. That image has since been deleted but just about everyone saw it and frankly, I've never been able to forget it. It was a violent, hateful message to police officers and went beyond the pale. Bullock attempted to smooth things over by pointing out that no Jets player has knelt during the national anthem. I appreciate you sharing your opinion and although I can't comment too much on it what I will say is the Jets have never had a player protest our anthem. The Jets have always been supportive of our police, firefighters, EMTs, etc. and will continue to do so, he wrote, including a flyer for the team's first responders night. During his interview with Cavuto, Imperatrice said that players such as Crowell should be held accountable for their actions by their respective teams. And they should be. That's the way it used to be. These family members that lose their loved ones can't hit the rewind button, Crowell, was able to press rewind, he said. Death has no do-overs. Something police officers are painfully aware of. Their families are too. With the NFL season right around the corner, there is no better time to open up a conversation about how your business-slash-organization can benefit from a partnership with the New York Jets," stated an email from the Jets' Anthony Bullock to Blue Lives Matter founder Joe Imperatrice. But the NFL is just too toxic for the group these days and they aren't alone in that sentiment. According to the New York Post, emails that were shared with the media outlet that transpired between Imperatrice and the Jets show that Imperatrice told a team official that he felt it wasn't the right time for a partnership. Once again I do appreciate the offer but revenue we have could better be spent on the families of officers killed in the line of duty protecting the ignorance of these individuals rather than contributing to their paycheck. That's very blunt and to the point. I can't say that I blame him in the least either. Imperatrice also chimed in on the news that ESPN will not join coverage of Monday night football games until after the national anthem is played which I brought up previously. That's like saying when a little child goes and does something bad and takes a candy bar, the parent, pays for it instead slapping their wrist and saying don't do it. Again. Ouch. But I certainly agree. In the end, I totally understand Imperatrice and Blue Lives Matter turning down the partnership request. Until the NFL cleans up their act and actually imposes solid requirements of proper behavior on their players and severely disciplines those that step out of line, especially in regards to police officers, I doubt that Blue Lives Matter will ever partner with any of their teams. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.